good. <laughs> Busy. Yeah, it's a whole new world, um, but we yeah. are making it work, and it's going really, really well, I have to say. Yeah, agreed. It's really good. I'm really enjoying the content and the, the storylines. I'm getting used to it. Mel, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think there will always be, like, for me, like, the need to, like, want to hug somebody. Yeah. And, you know, you know snuggle or something and I'm like oh well you know the intimacy aspect of it you have to kind of like control yourself yeah but for the most part I mean everyone's so respectful and like you know I, I think the mask mandate is really smart and everyone is so compliant and we really just are looking out the same window we want everybody to be safe yeah so I think Feels safe. yeah all just making it work yeah Okay, I'll start. Um, yeah, no, it's it's interesting um, because I think the Charmed Ones have been kind of like honing their powers in the first two and kind of becoming really familiar with being witches. But I think the third season, they um, really do become stronger and they become much more in control of their powers. But also in terms of like their personal development, I think each sister has like their own journey um, on their own and and for Mel specifically she gets to go out into the real world a little bit more we yeah. see her um at school I and mean, with like you know a world that's outside of magic that I'm really interested mm -hmm. in. I'm really excited for like you know the fans to see um what about you Sarah um I guess same I think the sisters have their sort of own individual things happening this season um and for Maggie it's a lot of focusing on herself and sort of fostering her relationship with herself, uh, which I'm all for. I was kind of felt like that was missing for her a little bit. Um, and yeah, she, she just, she calls it the year of me and I'm excited for people to see her focusing on, on herself and putting herself first. Um, and yeah. Um, the laughs. <laughs> Yeah, we, I mean, like, there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens, you know, yeah. like, you know, looking at green screens and like monsters that are not there. And, you know, you have to kind of laugh because it's just like, yeah. it's crazy, you know, like, it's so crazy. But, um, um, yeah, no, it's really fun too because we get to enjoy the silliness together, which is most yeah. important. It's really nice. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be the same if we didn't have each other to enjoy it with. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh heads up is always fun oh yeah we love heads up it's that game where you have to like get the other person to guess who's on your forehead um and I, it's so funny i don't think i've ever laughed so hard um and then i don't know we just like we just have a really good time like goofing off yeah snacking yeah snacking. Snacking. usually it's like oh i'll have what she's having wait can i have one of those too <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, ordering starbucks you know <laughs> getting through the day um i actually really enjoyed this past episode episode two for maggie um it really kind of showcased her struggle with anxiety which is something i directly relate to um and yeah I'm just proud of it because it seems like people really resonated um with it and felt that it was genuine which is all I could really all I could really want is um to accurately depict what it's like to have anxiety disorder um so yeah that's something I'm proud of for sure yeah and I feel like that's something that you brought that you talked to the writers about yeah right? yeah it is really cool that they incorporated it um because it is a part of who I am, they, they kind of just, yeah, they found a way. Yeah. I mean, I like that, um, well, like one of, the, one of the moments that I'm really proud of is like Mel in that first season where she tells Harry that, you know, she's always known that she's been gay and, and she's always, you know, had a mother that was so unconditionally supportive of her. Yeah. Um, and then like, that was her truth. And she never tried to like hide who she was. And um, I like and enjoy that Mel is so unapologetic about 
who she is. And I think, I think the fans really, I hope they do like respond to that, that aspect of Mel that she's just like, she is who she is. She's passionate. She's a lesbian. She's proud of it. <laughs> and um, yeah. I can see that people like really like, you know, the, the ships between like, you know, Ruby, Ruby and I, or um, Ellen's character in the first season. Oh my God, I forgot. Nico, yeah. Oh my God. <clears throat> I know it's been so long. It's been so long ago, yeah. But yeah, you know, I love that people um, ship those those healthy relationships. Definitely. Bridgerton. <laughs> I zoomed through Bridgerton. Um, and I don't know, I guess kind of just anything that's on Netflix, I'll just pop it on. And I don't really, sometimes I just don't have the bandwidth to like focus on anything after a long day of work. So whether it's The Office or like some reality series, I just need to like zen out. I feel like I've watched everything. Is that possible to watch something like that? Um, yeah, I, I've been watching The Hunger Games. Oh, which yeah. I've been, like re-watching The Hunger Games. I've seen them before, but I've been enjoying that. Cause like, I can't like seem to like watch new things. I can only re-watch things right now. I know, right? It's like your brain can't really like handle it. The new information is like number two. Yeah, I'm actually watching the Marvel movies in like cinematic order with my mom, which has been really fun. Cause there's so many of them. 